Alright guys, we are back. So we started up our year 7 simulation in the last uh, episode here. And it looks like we, we're starting out with one of those seasons again where just can't beat those sucky teams. And it seems that we're just not getting points, uh, like going into overtime and getting uh, like overtime or shootout losses or points like that. So we're 16-9-2. It's not terrible, but... I mean, I, I definitely wanted a, definitely a better start than that. I definitely wanted to hit 20 wins before the first two months of the season, but what are you going to do about that? But, I mean, we're I mean, Peckham is... Uh, our offense definitely needs to get a jump start here. As you guys know, I changed uh, the lines up a little bit. I moved Braden Shen to the center, moved Victor Rask to the wing, and I took him off the power play on the four-man power play as well to just try to change it up a little bit. But, I mean, we're top 10... For power play and penalty kill in the league, I'm going to give it one more month. One more month to see if it changes anything whatsoever. But we're up against our big task here. We're going to go on a 13-game road trip right now. So this will be impressive. This this is going to be a work work ethic for Gordon Peckham right now. So like I said, if he gets three losses in a row, I definitely need to put in Thomas Grice and just change it up a little bit. But here we go. Our 13-game road trip, starting it off in Tampa Bay. And he gets a shutout. His sixth shutout already. I mean... Peckham has tons of shutouts. So there we go, another 3-5 to five loss. Man, win one, lose one, man. So here's the WHL again. Uh, for defensemen, we're looking at... Yeah, man, this, this draft just looks like it's crap this year. Canada, leagues, yeah, we'll just draft... We'll look at these guys for a month. <clears throat> man, my voice is just terrible today. All right, Peckham, keep it going, man. Back to another, off to Washington and New York now. Man, you just got to pull some wins together. I still didn't add in my trade block yet. I'm just really lazy to do so. Come on, man. You got to pull some wins together. There you go. Another shutout. Seven shutouts for Gordon Peckham already. String some wins together. New York's not a good team. There you go. Five to two win. There you go. Offense. Get, get your act together, man. All right. Only gets one day rest and back to back, to back games. Here we go once again. Pittsburgh and Calgary. Come on, get a win here against Pittsburgh. One to nothing. Jesus Christ. That wasn't even an overtime loss. That was a regulation loss. Calgary here, one to three. Okay, if he loses one more, I gotta I have to throw Grice in there. If he loses one more game, I have to throw Grice in there. St. Louis, they're doing great. They're twenty one and ten. I have three to five. Alright, stop the simulation. I gotta throw Grice in there. I have to throw Thomas Grice in there. Stop the simulation. Thank you. I have to just I have to give him a rest. He needs a rest. He needs a rest. He's lost three in a row. He needs a rest of some sort. Throw Thomas Grice in there just for one game. Just for one game, just to change it up a little bit. Probably gonna lose this game too. I mean if we win, I I'm, I'm just gonna go back to Peckham. Hey, he wins it, surprisingly. Alright, just go back to him. Go back to him. Just get just gotta switch it up a little bit. Just gotta switch it up a little bit. Hopefully that'll jumpstart his ass. Yep, we got another long stretch here. This 13 game road trip. I mean, it was probably just work on him. I mean, we're, we just have no offense right now. We're just barely scoring goals. It's kind of pissing me off right now. 20, 12, and 3. Come on, Winnipeg. They're not a good team. We should beat them. There you go. 4 to 3. Back. Gordon Peckham back at it. Okay, game here against the Hurricanes again. Uh, ooh, look at that. Edmonton is placing Kevin BX on waivers. Would you like to claim him? I would probably like to claim Kevin BX. He's 37 years old. He could be really good depth right now. He actually could be better than Duncan Simons right now. Actually, he has no discipline, but it doesn't look like he's overall that much. But yeah, yes, I would like to claim Kevin BX off waivers. Place him in the minors. That's fair enough. We could call him up even if we need to. Okay, so game here against Carolina. 3-1 win. There you go, Peckham. All right, string some, win string some wins together right now. You need this. You need to go on a really good streak right now. Jersey, the same re almost the same record as us. There you go. Keep it going, Peckham. Last game of the 13-game road trip. We'll recap this little road trip right here after the Pittsburgh game. See how we ended up doing. Ended off on a win. Come on now. Pittsburgh, all they have is Malkin now. And there you go, two to nothing. Another shutout for him. His eighth shut, eighth shutout. Twenty three wins. Eight of them are shutouts. So I mean, thirteen game road trip uh, was probably a murder. So what we got? One, one and one, two and one, three and one, three and two, three and three, 
three and four, four and four, five and four, six and four, seven and four, eight and four on a thir well, I think it was thirteen. I might have miscounted something something somewhere. Hold up. Uh one and oh. One and one. Two and one. Three and one. Three and two. Three and three. Three and four. Four and four. Five and four. Six and four. Seven and four. Eight and four. Okay, it was only a twelve game twelve game road trip. So we had eight and four on a twelve game road trip. I will call that a success, man. Two point oh uh uh, win percentage for a 13 game road trip hell yeah and then look at this look at that man we have a huge ass home stand we get to come back home to so keep rolling with the peckham you got a four game win streak keep it up back to back games coming up here against buffalo keep it going kid keep it going just gotta keep running with them four to three loss all right that's fine just don't lose two in a row do not lose two in a row to buffalo there you go big offensive night there seven to two win there galchenyuk has 36 assists already so that's a lot for him Okay, Toronto, they're actually pretty good. They haven't even hit double-digit losses, regulation losses yet. Well, we just gave it to them. <laughs> and Pittsburgh here, 4-2. to two. All right. So that's another month down the books there. And people just keep annoying me with trades. All right. So we're 26-14-3. and 26-17. and pretty much 17, So we have almost 10 regulation, 10 wins over, reg over our loss total. So, I mean, that's not bad. Uh, team standings, we are first in the East, uh, beating Toronto by four points. We are tied with St. Louis for best record in the NHL, most points in the NHL so far. Take a look at goals. Goals, are we up there? Shinkrook is uh, up in the pack with a lot of people tied for 20. Look at all those people tied with 20. Nicholas Jensen, Jesus Christ. It's going to bite me in the ass now. <laughs> assists, uh, Galchenyuk's leading the league in assists with 36. That's very good for him. Nobody didn't want to do that. Points, uh, he's tied with Everly and Crosby for the league lead. And points with 49 points. And Shinkrook's actually down there near the bottom with 42 wins. Yeah, we know Peckham's going to be up there. Save percentage, uh, are we up there? No, goals against average. Peckham is cracked, cracked the top eight with a 2.15 goals against average. So he's cracked the top eight. So that's pretty good. So let's check out the team stats once again. For a month and then probably maybe we'll do one more month of simulation. Uh, yeah, we'll probably get we can get up to the All Star game. Let me just check it. The time out. Yeah, we're only at seven minutes. Yeah, we're gonna check this out. But I definitely want to check out the team standings. Team standings. What's right now? Uh, to see if how it changed. So goals for per game. Yeah, we started to score goals. See, it was just that little bit of a slow start, and now we're starting to score some more goals. Two point eight eight. Goals for for game. We're only top five in the NHL. I still want to get above three, but it'll come. It'll keep coming with time. I mean, we're scoring a lot more goals now, so that's good. Goals against. Uh, it went up a little bit from 2.15, but it's up 2.23. As long as it's under, it's under 2.25. I have no problem with that. Second in the league behind uh, Anaheim, so no problems there. With goals against. Power play. Power play definitely jumped up. So maybe that change taking Victor Rask off and moving Braden Shen to the center. Maybe jump started the power play, so we're, we have uh, 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 the power play is up to 23.4%, second in the league. Very good. So maybe that little change worked. And on the penalty kill, the penalty kill definitely picked it back up as well. 85.8%. That's a very good penalty kill. It's fourth in the NHL. So it was probably just that those slow starts. Uh, just a slow start, and now we're just starting to uh, roll. Definitely pick up some wins, and our stats are definitely showing for it. So we're just going to do one more month here. We'll look at. We're not going to look at the player stats. We'll look at it. As the All-Star game comes. So, yeah, we'll just simulate uh, up, to, up to the beginning of the All-Star game. So, keep running with Peckham, man. Just got to keep running with him. I mean, he had that good long win streak. So, he has it in him, he has it in him to get a uh, win streak going. He just needs to just needs to jump start it. So, there's a top 10 in Roussel. I'm going to scout him again for another six weeks. I don't even care about who we draft at this point. It doesn't really make all that diff that much of a difference. So here we go again. All right, Peckham, keep it rolling here. No. All right, got to bounce back from that loss. There you go, four to one win. Very good. Can Galchenyuk hit over maybe like 40, 45 assists before the uh, All Star game? That could that would be an amazing feat. So there we go, two wins in a row. There you go, Peckham, keep winning. Florida's actually off to a pretty good start as well. There you go, eight to four. Jesus, good offensive night there. So there he goes. He's getting the win streak again, three wins in a row. 
There you go, four in a row. See, he has it in him. If he just goes on four four win streaks and lose ones, I I will be perfectly fine with that. Perfectly fine. 30-14-3. It's a very good record. The Islanders are not doing too good to start off. Come on, get another win here. Yep, five to four. There you go. Got Chenyak hit 40 assists already. Five game win streak for Gordon Peckham. See, man, just that little bit of a slow start. And now we're starting to heat up again. So here we go. Boston, the Bruins, they are not doing good. Hopefully we should beat these guys. Three to two. Eh, of course. Uh, Minnesota, they want our first round pick for Gilbert. Tom Gilbert? Yeah, Tom Gilbert and a third. Uh, he's a top six. and eh, he's not worth it. No, thank you. Was it an overtime loss? No, it was a regulation loss. All right, bounce back from that Boston game. Supposed to beat that team, but couldn't. Oh, my God, so many trades. Uh, come on, Montreal, they're a pretty good team. Yep, there you go. Bounce back with a win. That's what I wanted, that's what I wanted to see, Gordon. Bounce back with a win. Ottawa, they are eh, about 500 team. Six to one win. There we go. We're having some big offensive nights, dude. We're getting lots and lots of goals scored on some nights. So, uh, I don't, yeah, come on, can get Chenya hit to 45 assists? Ah, jeez, and then we get shut out by the Islanders. And Rangers are not doing so good. Come on, 3-2, to two, very good. Galchenyuk's still stuck at 43 assists, but still, that's amazing. 43 assists already at the All-Star break? I mean, that's that's crazy. That's crazy, man. 34-16-3. and three. That's pretty good, not going to lie. Oh, thought it, thought it froze. Uh, are we frozen here? No, we're not frozen. Okay. Thought we were frozen, but we're not. Today's the All-Star Game. Would you like to stop the simulation to play the All-Star Game? No. Just keep it going up here. Past the Buffalo game up to the 30th. So this will be the last game. Then we'll check everything out. Buffalo and 3-1 to one loss. Whatever. Okay, so 34-17 and 3. Pretty much 34 and 20. 14 went up 14 plus in the win column. Uh, 2.0. Win loss ratio looks like we're going on. I don't think we're going to hit that 60 win season again. Probably maybe a 50 winner if we can get to it. But, um, you know, let's just check everything out. I mean, we're doing fine. I mean, we're doing fine. St. Louis, we're, I mean, we got a pretty good, comfortable lead in the Eastern Conference. Toronto and Jersey and Washington are pretty much the only close got close people right here. And we got two games against Toronto. That would be pretty big games coming up. But we're behind St. Louis for the President's Trophy. It looks like the Blues are doing pretty well. To start the their uh, their season off this year, so goals are we up there? Shinkrook's still up there with 24 assists. Are we up there? Galchenyuk and Backstrom are tied for the league league in assists. Points are we up there? Galchenyuk's one behind Eberly. Wins. Corden Peckham's obviously going to be up there. Save percentage are we up there? Uh, no, we are not. Goals against average are we up there? No, we are not. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's check out everything again. Team standings, team standings, player stats, everything up to the All Star break. Check out every, how everything's doing for that last month. So goals for every game, yeah, it's above three now. It's three point zero four. It's these big offensive nights that we're just having is really just boosting that goals for up. Goals for up a lot, so I'm not gonna complain there. Goals against per game, it's a little bit higher than it usually is. It's up at two point three one. So we're letting in a good amount goals this year, more than we usually are. But still, it's top five in the NHL. I'm not going to complain. Power play percentage. We are first in the league for power play for power play percentage at 23.3%. Not going to touch it. And penalty kill is at 80. It's still above 85%. So it's I mean it's it's a good penalty kill. I'm not going to not going to touch it whatsoever. So our stats our stats are showing what are pretty much just showing what we're what we should be how we should be playing. I mean we're first in the East. I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain, so let's just check out the player stats, see how everybody is doing. Hopefully see how these uh, trades will benefit us in, in the long run. So Galchenyuk's having a very good season right now to start off. 60 points in 54 games. Uh, Shinkrick and Giroux both have 51. So, I mean, the first line's still doing good. No one, uh, Galchen It looks like Giroux and Shinkrook are pretty much getting Galchenyuk a lot of points this year. Galchenyuk is getting a shit ton of assists. 44 assists already at the All-Star break. I mean, this guy could... He's. It looks like he could become a 90... Like, he's on pace for a 90 point, 90 point, or maybe even if he turns his game on a lot, he could be on pace for a 100-point season, no lie. I mean, we already played 54 games, and we still have, what, 30... Uh, About 30 games. What is that, 30 minus 2? About 28 games still left. 
So if he gets 28 points in 28 games, what is that, 88 points? Yeah, he could, I mean, if he could, he, if he could have a couple really high point nights, he could possibly get a 100-point season. So we'll have to keep a lookout for that. But Shinkirk and Giroud, yeah, they're doing fine. I'm not going to complain. They're not poor game players, but I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, Skinner has 42 points in 54 games. That's very good for Skinner. Shen is a little bit underachieving. He only has 34. Same with Victor Rask. He has uh, 32. He's getting more assists than goals. I kind of got him for goal scoring. He's not really showing up too much. Ryan O'Reilly, 721. Yep, Jaden Hart has 17 on the fourth line. Uh, he has 12 goals. He has more goals than Victor Rask has when he's only on the second line. Uh, Wellwood has 15. Coots has 13. Bajork has nines, and Zimnajet has nine. So Victor Rast is kind of underachieving a little bit. He might be able to turn out to be a little bit of a bust, but I mean he's he's still getting second line points. Not gonna complain. Defense on the other hand, so we got three guys over twenty. Theodore has twenty three. Ryan Murray has twenty one. And Pulak has twenty. Petrovic has seventeen. Joseph Morrow has twelve. Duncan Simons has seven. And Kevin Bieksa has six, so I think he's actually in the minors right now. I don't know what the assistant coach is doing with him. So he's going to be very good depth in case somebody gets hurt. And goalies. So Thomas Grace has started two starts. He's 1-1. One one. But Gordon Peckham, I mean, he's played the majority of the games this year. He's goals against average 2.23. It's not bad. It's still hovering around two. So 33-16-1. and one. Save percentage of 92.05. Save percentage is a little bit low. But, I mean, he has nine shutouts. That's a ton of shutouts for Gordon Peckham so far. But, I mean, like, our goalies, it's, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. We go on these really good long long streaks, and it seems like we lose two or three in a row. But, I mean, we're first, I'm, like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just down on myself because I, I really want us to have a lot more, uh, like, overtime losses and, regu and, like, shootout losses. Then I want regulation losses, but we're doing fine. We're first in the East by a good bit of margin, but like a 10 point margin over Toronto and Jersey. I mean, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. 34, 17, and 3. I guess in the next video, we will take it up to the trade deadline. I doubt we need to make any trades at the trade deadline, but we shall see. Maybe we'll need to make a push for something. Maybe another depth person or whatever. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, we will. Take it up to the trade deadline in the next video. Take it easy, guys.